the Steelers uh, somewhat shored up their quarterback situation, and they signed Mitch Trubisky. I am curious your thoughts here. Why don't you go ahead with this one? <laughs> oh, this one made me smile. This one made me happy. Um, uh, Mitch Trubisky might be the sixth best quarterback in the division <laughs> right now. Uh, I don't that's, understand. That's, 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 like, I, um, I, I'll tell you I, this, I though. This. Hang on. All right, I say that, and that's and that's a little that's a whole lot of tongue in cheek. That was rude. That was not called for. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. I, I think Mitchell's better than Ben was last year. Yeah, I think I'll I'll say this: if Trubisky comes in and shows just insane improvement, uh, Brian Dable needs to be getting paid more than he's getting paid as the head coach of the Giants. Because if if he could completely switch Josh Allen into a franchise quarterback. And and maybe do the same thing for Mitch Trubisky, and that would be uh, almost a miracle because we saw what Trubisky was for multiple years under Matt Nagy at uh, at the Bears. So uh, this is another one of those where you know what he is, or at least what you think he is, and that's what the Steelers have decided to go with. You've still got Mason Rudolph as your backup. You've got Mitch Trubisky now, I guess, slated as your starter. But I just can't believe that this is the only quarterback move that the Steelers are going to make, right? I mean, surely surely you think that they've got something else up their sleeve. No, I think this is their guy. I, I, I do. wonder if maybe they are just so convinced that their defense is really good and they just need a guy that's not going to screw it up and they're hoping that Trubisky has fixed all the – all the mechanical problems, all the decision making problems, all that, and and maybe he just won't get them beat. Like maybe that's it. Uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Look at how their offense has been the last couple of years. I mean, it's very much been a, you know, we're going to win this on defense. We're going to, you know, we're going to bend but don't break. You know, don't turn the ball over. Play smart, and we'll be okay. Yeah, I don't know that you're going to win a Super Bowl with Mitch Trubisky. You you might be able to make the playoffs. I mean, my God, they made the playoffs this year, and they were putrid. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Ugh. I wouldn't put anything past Tomlin, though. I'm just going to tell you that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it only only coach in the NFL right now that uh, that has had, what, 16 straight non-losing seasons? So he had that one 8-8 eight eight year in there. But, you know, I, I'm I'm curious. I'm very curious. This seemed like such a weird deal. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.